It is 2022 and you want to look your best this year. You want to level up your style game. Well, hopefully this video right here is gonna help you do just that. I've got 10 steps for you, 10 things to consider when you think about your own personal style, about your wardrobe, that hopefully is gonna make that process a whole lot easier. My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street. And I'm gonna keep today's video, like the different points fairly short because I wanna get all 10 across quickly. If you want to know uh, a little bit of a deeper dive on any of the topics, please let me know down below in the comments and we can dive in more deeply in a separate video. But let's get started. Point number one, one of the most important things when it comes to style and that is color. Paying attention to color is something that probably a lot of you already do, but just try and be mindful of the fact that you can keep it very simple with achromatic looks, meaning black, white, gray, because there's no color really to manage, no matching that needs to happen. So achromatic looks are the simplest, Monochromatic looks are a big vibe right now, partially because of the streetwear influence on mainstream fashion, and monochrome has always kind of been a streetwear thing. I love wearing monochrome looks, but they can be a little bit more tasking. Otherwise, keep it simple. Stick to your simple colors like navy, white, black, gray, some earth tones like olive, tan, beige, those will keep you safe. And it's fairly simple to combine those different colors. And of course, you can go for a pop of color here or there, whether that's a beanie, a pair of sneakers, a hoodie, whatever, but try and keep the rest minimal and then just one pop of color. If you're gonna pick that back up, make sure that it's actually the same color. The second and third thing I wanna talk about are layering and accessorizing. Now, why am I mentioning them in the same sentence? That's because for me, that's a seasonal thing for the most part. Let's talk about layering first. Layering is obviously a lot more easily done in the fall winter or spring when it's not super hot. But layering can be incredible to give dynamic and depth to your outfit that would otherwise just probably still look good but just a lot more simplistic. What I want you to know right now is that layering can severely level up your style game. Just adding different colors, different textures, different fabrics, and we'll talk about a couple of those things later on, can make an outfit so, so much better. Just adding a simple mid-layer, so not just your t-shirt and then a jacket up top, but maybe something in between that can really, really up your outfit. Now that, as I said, can get a bit more tricky when it gets warmer because we try to layer down, have less layers so we stay cooler. So point number three, accessorizing. I tend to accessorize a lot more when it's the warmer summer months. Of course, accessories still play a role in the winter, but accessories, let me break it down really quick. That's your jewelry, your watch, your rings, your bracelets, your necklaces. Your eyewear is also part of your accessories. Headwear, like the hat that I'm wearing right now. Different hats, different bags, different footwear. And footwear arguably being the biggest accessory to your outfit. Once again, because of the influence from, from streetwear, um, there's a big focus on sneakers right now, so a really dope, unique standout sneaker can be all that you need to make a simple, otherwise simple outfit really stand out. So accessorizing, learning how to accessorize is incredibly important to up your style game. Point number four is texture, and texture basically meaning different fabrics and how they look, whether they're a bit more raised, whether they're more clean, and that can be a big part in how you combine outfits, but also how you layer. So knowing how to work with different fabrics and different textures and how to combine them and how to make that special, say a corduroy pant with a nice wool sweater, but then a clean wool coat up top. There's a lot of flexibility there, so looking and paying attention to texture and different fabrics, it's definitely a big point to improving your style overall. So it's point number five, and that is patterns, very similar to texture. Once again, because of streetwear, we have a lot of large patterns and a lot of pieces. So if you're gonna go for a heavily printed sweatshirt, for example, make sure that you kind of let that be on its own. If you have big, loud patterns in your clothes, it's better to have one piece stand out and keep the rest simple, because if you start mixing patterns, it gets very tricky. But if you do want to um, do that and mix two different patterns, just make sure that one is small and one is bigger, just so so there's a different enough aesthetic there, otherwise it gets very, very messy and uh, just very quickly it gets too much. Now the next couple tips are less about your style and more about yourself. Point number six, fitness. What your body looks like, what is basically the canvas to your outfit. And I'm not talking about everybody having to look uh, super slim or super athletic, but fashion to me is about self-expression, about feeling good and an active body, whether you're bigger 
or slimmer or skinny or I don't care. If you feel good in your own skin, the outfits are going to look better too because you're already more confident. Now, if you are struggling with working out or if you like working out and you want more inspo, I am launching my fitness channel very, very soon that is going to focus a lot on having fun with working out, keeping it diverse and um, not really focused on losing weight or gaining muscle mass. It's gonna do a little bit of both if you do it right, if you commit, but it's not about either one of those things. It's really just to be moving and to feel good about ourselves, like I just said. So no matter what your size is, if you are active, if you are healthy, it's gonna make you feel better and it's also gonna make you look better in clothes. The next tip is on grooming. And that's really just to point out not to forget about your hairstyle, your beard, and even your skin, your skincare routine, because those things are part of your look. And more specifically, a certain hairstyle might look better with a certain type of wardrobe. If you have a cleaner wardrobe that's uh, a bit more dressed up then maybe a cleaner cut is gonna look great with that if you have a more hype trendy wardrobe then maybe one of the more trendy cuts that's like in your face is gonna do it for you or having a hairstyle that gives you that flexibility but just think about these things as you think about your wardrobe as well because it's part of how you present yourself now point number eight and uh, a big one because all these things that I just talked about there's so much to be said um, with each of them but Point number eight is to keep looking at inspiration. And right now that's a lot of Instagram, a lot of TikTok and people whose style you like, but I want you to look at their style through the lenses of what we talked about. How are they managing color? How are they layering? How do they accessorize? How do they manage texture in different pieces? And how do they manage pattern in different pieces? What do they look like? Do they look like you? Do they have the same hairstyle, um, the same skin undertone? But um, keep on finding that inspiration, things that you like, because it's gonna keep you on your toes, it's gonna keep you inspired, and it's gonna keep you wanting to explore your own style even more. Now point number nine, and this one's late on purpose, um, and that's trends. And with trends also fit, which they don't necessarily are, like they're not necessarily supposed to go together, and fit is supposed to be king, supposed to be way up top, but, um, the trends right now are very relaxed. The trends are very street. The trends are very hype. There's a lot of things that like, yes, I like, but overall it's, it's just tough. There's not a lot of men's wear. There's a lot of men's style and fashion happening, which is great in its own right. But, um, point number one, don't blindly follow the trends. Don't feel a need to, to follow the trends even. Just be aware of them. Um, you're gonna come by them eventually if you if you are uh, inspired by some people that follow those trends. So like, whatever needs to trickle down into your style will do so without you actually looking like, what are the trends and, you know, trying with your head through the wall to actually follow those trends so you're trendy. Point number one. Point number two, is that with the trends that we have right now, fit is important, don't get me wrong, but it's not about a nice slim fit that accentuates your body. It's a lot about more relaxed, more loose silhouettes and contrasting silhouettes like a tighter top and then a more relaxed bottom, etc. So I think right now in 2022 to level up your style game, fit is, fit is more important than the, um, it depends on where you are at in your fashion journey, to be honest. If you're advanced and you wanna play around with different fits, please do so, it's important. Um, and I think with that, you will explore a lot of new trends. But otherwise, I'd say stick to a slim fit, move away from the skinny, we're done with that. Uh, a nice slim fit that accentuates your body, but keeps you looking comfortable and keeps you looking good. Last but not least, please, and this, I, I always throw this one in to these types of videos, is uh, keep on experimenting. The things that you do find and all the things that we talked about, they deserve some time for you to experiment, to sit down or stand in front of your own mirror, try on different things and see what works, see what looks good to you subjectively. Um, it's an essential part of developing your own style is to constantly try new things, to go for things that you might not normally go for, but then looking at yourself in the mirror wondering, does this work for me? Do I like this? What do I need to change if I do like it, but it doesn't seem like it's quite there? Experimentation is a huge part of developing your own style, and it is so always and also in 2022. With that, we're done for today. It was a bit longer than I thought it was gonna be the video, but I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Follow me on Instagram because there's a bunch of inspiration for you there, and um, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped. I'll see you soon with the next video. Until then, as always, stay dapper. Bye, y'all.